kani gade ka patisi tv bat fidang pet yaki khubor baman kasni kinong karsan jongarani kor block congress committee hennen kasni ka khar ar tarik ujilio kina khliap no ekalama jong kasang congress hapo rani kor constituency haden bau menteri rangba ka jela u konrad ke sangma u bolong ru national president jong kasang national people's party ulakular ban kentio kor dan no ekarani kor administrative unit saka civil subdivision Haka jelang kepala long hapo rani kor kinong ilam jong ka block congress committee kila pun hiar no eklama jong ka sang congress bat pun penaru bakin penyeso no ilade bat ka sang national people's party kepala lam kemat ya ka sarkar meghalaya democratic alliance hakani ka jela kinong kersan ka sang congress kila semi ka nikarai hakamat ka jing sak hilang u menteri rangba ka jela u konrad ke sangma u sembot menteri rangba u ba preston tensong u menteri ketnat ki kampo yeng u james pk sangma u menteri bakmi ya ketnat Community and Rural Development Block U Ba Sengau Bahalang Dhar Bat U State President Yoke NPP U Dr. W. R. Karluki Haga Nika Sengi Kipat Ba Kila IT Ru Yaka Dor Khas Haga Keti Jong Menteri Rang Ba Kibala Kerpa Je U Bu Un Bat Yaka Juban Lang Ban Kentio No Yaka Kerdan Civil Subdivision Yaka Rani Kor Administrative Block On the 25th of May 2018 The Demand Committee Which demanded for the civil subdivision here in Ranikor, they had met me in Shillong in my office. The delegation was led by none other than Sri M. M. Dango. It was a delegation of 26 people and among other demands, they demanded that Ranikor be declared as a subdivision. My friends, let me tell you that this MDA government is a government which is by the people and for the people. Every single constituent of this government, be it the UDP, be it the HSPDP, be it the PDF, be it the BJP or the NCP, all the independents who are supporting us. We are all here committed to work for our people. And it has always been the endeavor of the MDA government to ensure that we bring administration closer to our people. I remember in Mokorwat, when I had visited just about two weeks back, Mr. Renitin Lingo, and the other leaders of Southwest Khasi Hills, including Barovel Lingo and other MDCs, had also expressed the same demand of declaring Rani Corps as a civil subdivision. So my friends, I am very, very honored and happy that this historic moment I am able to announce and to let you know that the government of Meghalaya will be setting up the civil subdivision in Rani Kaur. I would also like to inform you that the date to open the civil subdivision will also be decided along with the local MLA and the local leadership. And he has mentioned that the date will be decided by me. But let me inform you, I will give the power to him to decide when the Rani Court subdivision should be inaugurated. This was not a very simple exercise. After the memorandum was submitted to us, the memorandum was given to the DC, to the Chief Secretary, all the different departments to immediately conduct survey and find out the feasibility report and submit the report to us on the feasibility and the requirement of opening a subdivision. I am happy to inform all of you that the report also has been positive and the department and the DC are already working over time to ensure that different, different locations are being surveyed to find out the most appropriate place to set it up. 
But in the meantime, the government will take initiative. And even though the permanent site may take us some other time and some more time to select, but in the meantime, we will make temporary arrangements and we will go ahead with opening up the civil subdivision. You see, there is no administration, no presence of any governance out here. And it is exactly in locations like these that you need the presence. Today, a person, a woman, a man, a boy, a girl have to travel hours and hours just to get basic, uh, you know, uh, signatures. Since a, you know, the treasury office is missing, you're finding teachers having to travel for, you know, hours and hours just to clear their salary sometimes, which is, you know, sometimes gets pending. So what you're saying is exactly the point that because of the absence of this kind of uh, presence of any kind of governance, it is necessary that people of the areas where are very far flung must get, and our duty is to get the governance closer to them. That's exactly what you're saying is exactly the point. That since there is, it's missing, it is our duty to get it closer to the people. People face difficulty and as a government, we will try our best to ensure that we can reach out as much as possible even in other areas also but yes we'll have to see the practicality of things financial implications in the long run in the big picture that's what is going to be looked at but it is precisely what you said the reason is to get the administration close to it. basically basically as i said this demand came to us and because of that when the demand came to us we assessed it we found that it was something genuine and as i said very clearly um, you know the political part political aspect is something different we are not we're not at all you know something that they decided to uh, to do and they felt that this government has been responsive to the needs uh, which past governments were not and that's why they decided to take the decision but it's nothing to do with uh, any kind of calculations we were purely working towards development and getting administration closer to the people habai karan pat baru mla karani kor u martin m dango ulapan pao ba kom unong mikman unha ban sngap e karai ka bami na kasor jong pai ba ulai thoro ba kjing dawa jong u ya ka civil subdivision kalong nadu ka por ba ka congress kadang don bat bat ya kalakam sunsar hakani ka jilla pan ban kani jing dawa jong u kam shem la urlong satya dei tat hadu kani ka kanti on dawla le je kandu yo menti rong ba u konrat ke sangma ba ulakular ban kerti kor dan no ya karani kor administrative block sha ka civil subdivision i i abide by the decision of my people when they think for the betterment of the constituency in what way they think, I just obey the decision of my people. I always go along with them, that's all. In politics, we have to face the blame. But when my people decided, be it for better days or worse days, I'll go with them. Yeah, my concern was that my demand, main demand was the civil subdivision. You know? So I... When I was in government also, I was pursuing that matter, but uh, we could not materialize because of the constraints, most probably. So when the positive response have come from the present chief minister and my people, yeah, this is better response than if we get civil subdivision, you have to sacrifice. That is the demand that, that we have made. So you're making, making a sacrifice? Yeah, for the, uh, if, if you think this is a better option, I don't mind sacrificing myself.